Hello YouTube, it's Rails of Steel here. And right now, as you can see, the leaves are fallen. And it is so nice, so nice today. And as you can see, it's basically early November. An important month for me because my birthday is on the 23rd, which is Thanksgiving this year. So we are walking out to do a photo shoot of just some of the gorgeous scenery that we have out today. So we are out here, as you can see, in this kind of buggy area. It's humid more than usual today here in Texas, in Dallas. It's not that humid usually. I'm just gonna take a couple landscapes. I have two lenses that I wanna use today. My 18 to 55 kit and my Sigma 1850. These are my two really only lenses currently. But why did I bring my 1855 kit? Of course, that's not very professional. Why did I bring that? It's simple. Autofocus. The For some reason, autofocus with this lens, the autofocus motor compatibility with my D3300 is kind of broken, unfortunately. And that really sucks. And I need to take my lens cap off before I forget. But I like this scenery right here. It's a, It has a depth to it. I love all types of photography, but landscapes, there's just something special about that. Now, I, I go into live view to get my rule of thirds and composure. My, not, what am I thinking, composure now? I go to get my actual composition just right under brightness up to five. I hate using live view and bright sunlight like this because it's just so miserable to try to look through. You know, you got to do what you got to do to get that shot. That's why I love viewfinders, ones that work as well. So I'm going to focus, okay. I don't actually, my timer on the T3300 doesn't work for some reason. It, only actually, it actually depends on the lens, it doesn't work with this lens. And I'd like to use that or some kind of remote shutter. However, I checked that this image is sharp enough and in focus, which to a it appears that it very well is. I will switch now to the kit lens. The thing I like about my kit lens actually, and I'll admit, there is, there are a couple things that I have to say that I really like about it. It's small and that's good and bad because it's small and that's very good for portability, it's light. And the autofocus is bad, but it has autofocus. The build quality is garbage though. All plastic, even the lens mount. I mean, my Sigma is a tank compared to it. But just getting that shot, there's some good light going on right here. I want to also change my perspective. And I can rely on the focus in this case to be in focus. There's some really good light coming down here. So I want to make sure I get that as well. The light is hitting the foreground, and that's really good, especially when I'm editing. I can can really get some dynamic range out of there. Now this is midday, I'll admit, because you know, as we all know, sunrise, sunset is a lot more cinematic than midday, but sometimes I really like getting stuff at midday. Of course, I said in my landscape photography video, you always want sunrise and sunset, and for 90% of stuff, yeah, it's better. But for sometimes at midday, when the light is hitting everything, if you do it right, it can look really good. In fact, there's some stuff down here, but the thing is I don't like down there because of all the houses. Here you get the bridge and a couple houses and the trees. It gets everything. So it's a bit breezy, so it's nice and cooler. It helps cool down the sweat. Got some great shots. The light is hitting actually the foreground quite nicely, all right, and it's getting some nice Harder light shots. It, it looks pretty nice, actually, the photos I got. I can, I'm curious to um, check them out on the computer. But overall, I think they turned out pretty well. And I wanna get one more shot com coming up here. I wanna get this one just of a wide landscape at, eight, at um, 24 millimeters. Actually, I actually wanna try this one at 24. I was doing a little testing 18 distorts the crap out of the image. It really does. So I just want to try to see what I'm getting at 24. Because uh, it didn't distort the crap out of it. The light is so bright that I can set my shutter speed quickly so the photo can be sharp. There we go. 
yeah, overall, I like this location for some stuff. And really, the light matters like crazy. It really does. The light is really what makes that photo just that much better. So make sure you pick good light. And if you are shooting midday, always make sure that the light is right because you can get good shots during midday.